Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to solder copper pipes. Most homes have copper supply lines for their plumbing, and most do yourself homeowners can learn to solder or sweat copper, um, copper joints with just a few minutes of training. And today we're going to go over that. To begin your copper pipe soldering project, you need the right tools. First of all, you can have some pipe cutters, specifically designed to cut copper pipe. Or you could use a hacksaw if you don't want to spend the money on the uh, pipe cutter tools. Second, you need a propane torch with a torch head. Uh, the pros use a settling torch or map uh, type gas, but a propane torch will work fine for a small um, do-it-yourself plumbing project. You also need your igniter, a piece of flint. Uh, you'll need solder paste for the copper joint itself. You need solder, lead free of course. Steel wool or emery cloth for cleaning the joints and the fittings prior to soldering them. And you also need a wet rag for wiping down the joint after you complete the solder. And finally, from a safety perspective, you need safety glasses and you need a pair of leather gloves. And you'll know what I mean if you pick up a hot pipe after you finish soldering it. The first step in soldering copper pipes is to cut the pipes to length and test the, all the fittings with the pipe section that you cut. Make sure the fittings fit on properly, smoothly, and once you've confirmed that, we'll move on to the next step. Now that we've cut the pipes and test fitted them with the fittings, we want to clean the pipe using a piece of steel wool or emery cloth. I'm going to use a piece of steel wool. What we're trying to do is get any oxidized material off the end of the pipe so that the solder will flow cleanly and smoothly uh, when we flow. And we'll do the same on the interior of the fitting, sticking the steel wool in and just cleaning the inside of it, removing any oxidized material that could be on the inside that would prevent a clean solder flow. Now that we've cleaned the pipe and the fitting with steel wool, we're now going to apply a little flux to the pipe. I'm using my finger here, but normally you could use a small brush to do the same. Once we've applied the flux to the pipe and the inside of the fitting, we slip it on to make sure it goes in smoothly. And now we're ready to sweat the joint with solder. Now with eye protection eyes and leather gloves, we're going to sweat the joint. What I do is I take about a 12 inch length of the solder, put a 90 degree bend in it, and I take the torch and I apply it to the fitting, keeping the fitting up looking to see where the flux will flow. And I start waving the torch onto the pipe. To test, I'll uh, try to see if the solder flows, which it is not right now. So I'm going to continue to heat the joint. Once I see the solder begin to flow, I can then take my bead a nice bead around the joint, all the way around. And I'll take my rag and just quickly wipe the joint. And there we have our sweater joint. So there you have it. That's the process for soldering, soldering or sweating copper pipes. One word of warning, if you're doing any soldering around framing within the home, make sure you have a spray bottle of water handy. Just in case the uh, wood starts to smolder, all you can squirt the uh, affected area before it turns into a house fire. Um, so that's it. If you have any other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today. Thanks.